Hi. So, it's a Saturday night. We've been out doing about a, what's it, geocaching? Geocaching. So we've been all about the place for a wee bit. As far down as Dumbarton. Breaking in the bike, never broke me. <laughs> so Greg's picked up a new bike. So we've been out in the, the bikes and then one of his brakes has ended up giving up. We've came back and there was a couple of kind of traveller guys had passed us there two minutes ago and they've obviously lit a wee fire because they came from here. And we're just on the beach, just that we're, this is Bowling Harbour here. Um, here you have on the left, if you don't know it, the Erskine Bridge. Over here is Mar Hall, one of the hotels in the, huh? Yeah? That's another wee fire up there right enough. Well, that'll be our next one, we'll have to go up and sit there and have another beer. Well, say we're having beers, so it's, uh, we're on the hardcore uh, cider of the night. I'm on the Taurus. He's on the, the good stuff, he's uh, he's a bit better off than me, he's on the Strongbow, I'm on the cheap gear. And uh, that's it, we're on our way home, but you can't be sitting down beside a wee old fire. Oh aye, you bit of heat coming off that day. I like a fire that's been going a wee while. I am boys have maybe even been cooking off that. I can smell sausages. So, tonight... Geocaching took us on an absolute whirlwind uh, of a, a challenge, I suppose. That one down in the mountain, what about that? that we were stomping about for about, I would say, a good half hour looking for this wee... So ex explain it to you, explain what this geocaching for anybody out there that's not done it yet. Why you've done it, you can do it with kids, you can yeah. just go out on a magical... Ah, it's just more to keep the wee and entertained. Um... It's so kind of like a treasure hunt. You get download the app. You can open it up, and it's basically like a Google Maps, and it shows you um, different caches here and there. But caches just can be anything for something this size, it's or a box. Um, so it holds like a normal holds a logbook in it, at least so you can sign it to say you found it. Bigger ones you can put anything in it. The ones we found was like golf tees. Um, we kids kinder toys. And that's the ones you found up more up north. Yeah, the the, the bigger ones. Um, and we realise if there's something in there, if you take it and you put something else back in. Um, but yeah, and they give you a wee hint. So what's the app? Geocaching. Geocaching. The website yeah, geocaching. is it geocaching dot com. Yeah. Oh, aye, geocaching dot com. Sure it is. Um, Smoke sent me right in the force. And uh, it's free, you can sign up for the, the premium, which is a year, it gives you access to other stuff, like the, I think for the year it's like 20 odd quid or something, but the free ones, is, it's good to get you scored, um, it gets me out and about, a wee bit of excitement and stuff. Well, we found, what was the first one the night? The first one was the, the one, oh, the one down in Bowling? Yep. The, and it was, the, it was up in kind of among trees, and it was in a, it was just in like a wee long kind of, Test tube yeah, kind of thing. Aye. Going for a urine test or something. Aye, urine test, that's exactly. And it was. The ones we found was like a, an old 35mm uh, film case. Other ones, well, that, that last one we found was. A Some ones are kind of waterproof, aren't it? Yeah. And then there's a. We, we take it by them, we do cash and rolls off the net. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that one was the probably the easiest one. Then we moved on to the mountain, which yeah. ended up. Being a wee tiny, uh, and we're talking that size, a centimetre big, and it was a wee tiny magnetic thing that stuck up on the underside of an old iron gate. I was a belter, yeah, wasn't it? And, it and, was and do you know what? They'd even coloured it so that it was the same kind of rusty colour as the, so the gate. Uh, you felt it looked like a bolt, yeah, didn't it? Aye, because we were like uh, looking about and feeling it, and um, nah, nah, it's definitely there looking up logs. So obviously, it doesn't it can be within maybe a six metre radius so especially up there there was like holes and bricks there was certain things and um, plates everyone plates, we were looking uh, at road signs was, a lot just in case it was there was something that's sticking out so there was, there was a gate there was a couple of road signs it's, hide, it's, it's mainly hidden isn't it but yeah. not something it's hidden but not hidden Aye, it's, it's there but it's it's, it's looking at you but it's up to you it's like a wee treasure hunt nearly um, and then the, the last one we got was in like a wee food box, wasn't it? And and, and it was kind of hot, down in, down in between this kind of tree that had kind of four or five different big bits coming out of it. So again, so, if you walk past it, if you were not the... You wouldn't notice it. Right. And again, if you were not having to go and go, oh, wait a minute, I'll move this. 
But that app allows you, you know, when you're looking at it on your phone, it allows you, it's like a, it's like looking at Google Maps nearly, and it tells you, like, you're 27 metres away, and it's in this direction, so, you know, as you walk this kind of way, you're getting closer and closer to it, until you're, like, a three metre, probably, and radius, you and then you... Ten minutes, it actually gives you a ping of vibrate. Starts beeping at you. Well, that's me, I'm, I'm in the zone, but... Ah, it's, it's, it keeps the kids entertained, it can be... Definitely get Alfie out and give him a blast with it, and Alana, even... I think we were lucky, the first one that we found was a big tub, so there was stuff in it, so Alana was like, oh, this is good, I'm not going to get free toys all the time, but even after that, she just enjoyed the treasure hunt bit of it, aye, the hunting. Scavenger style. You um, see, the thing is, with us, we having the bikes, we can blast out a wee bit and find it, and as we go further and further afield, we'll just, they're, they're everywhere. Yeah. Oh, aye. I enjoyed it, me, I really did. Um, and it wasn't so much we were out on a big mad cycle tonight, it was more of just like a magical mystery tour. And of course, we found now ourselves a nice wee fire. Let me see down here, boy. Let me sit down beside this. Man. There must be a party over at Moor Hall. Do you hear the disco music? A wedding, a wedding reception, probably. Uh, it's probably the food just finished. You see the marquee, that kind of white thing over here, just to the left of the big building, or maybe up up there, actually. Just the wee one between the trees, middle of the screen. Mm -hmm. So, as I say, this is um, Bowling Harbour just there. And they've cleaned this beach up. I was down one of the days, mind uh, Melanie from next door. She was down here with a whole pile of people. And they were doing um, a beach clean up. But you would swear again, it's kind of it became a wee bit untidy, but... I suppose the rubber itself brings a lot of rubbish in. Yeah. But it's great the way they're, they're now working on this whole bowl and harbour project and it's opened right up. Because have you ever been down that on your bike before? That used to be just like a wee trail that you had to kind of push your way through. It's right, right good. Is that a road sign? Aye, it is. Oh, pardon me. Broken road sign. Hey, you can't beat us something different on a Saturday night. Normally we're sitting in my back garden. Are you going to rate the fires to see what one's best? I'm claiming this one. You can see all the different wee fire pits. So there's a fire pit there, somebody's had a fire going there. And then there's one, as I say, just on up a bit where he's heading. Just where that wee tree is. If it had been half an hour ago, we would have seen the, the sun was going down, but as you can see, that's, that's Loch Lomond down that direction, way out down there. Spent a lot of time in Loch Lomond last week, so we did. Not last week, the week before. Jesus, time's just flying in at the minute. And the midges are out, but the good thing with us is that the smoke... Uh, the smoke's keeping them away, for now, anyway. He's way on up there, man. So, there's obviously a hole up through this... This bit of wood, because there's the fire up here. Smoke's coming out of this. <laughs> Stinking. Hold on, I need a stone. So, we were out for um, our lunch today, and it was a way uh, down that direction there, a place called Lang Bank, across the other side of the river, before you get to kind of Port Glasgow direction. And we had a lovely meal at Coast, Coast Restaurant. And we just felt when we get back, come on, we'll go out a wee rip in the bikes, burn off our, our grub. Wait a minute, there's a wee bit of smoke in here. I wouldn't be surprised, I don't know if that would go up, but you wouldn't be surprised. Looks to me like there's been something on there, maybe like a tyre or... 
That looked like something like... Is it? Somebody's yeah, made it into a right den. They've got a wee bucket to keep their cans in. Very good. Fill in the water. A wee barbecue up there. A wee disposable barbecue. So just a wee barbecue. Look at the yeah. colours of that sky in the background. Lovely, isn't it? Pinks and greys and oranges and peaches. Apricot. And over here we... Ah, it's a nice night. What time does you think it is now? About 17, 18? Might as well say hello. How are you doing? Better get my juice here. So, we're heading up the road after this. And um, we're going to sit back and chillax at my bit for a wee bit and then pull the plug. I probably I fancy watching a movie tonight. Fancy maybe watching that guy Richie one. Yeah, though we can never remind the name of <laughs> Many times have we said in the last two weeks, what's the name of that there? We still no looked it up. But see, remember that when this beach was absolutely bogging, you couldn't come down on it? You wouldn't have come near it, actually. So it was a big improvement in the way it looks. But again, that's part of the Bowling Harbour project thing. They've, they've, you have to give them a, a lot of credit for, you know, getting together. The, the people that live in that red boat up there as well, we Oscar, is it? We fella, I think it was at Emily School. Oscar, he uh, came down and they did a lot of tidying up and stuff on the beach. And I think a couple of years ago he had some sort of big. I think it might be when COVID happened. He, no, no, it was prior to that actually. He'd built some sort of big uh, monument type thing out of all types of things, and it was it was nice. It was nice, but art. The wee fella is obviously very talented from a artistic perspective. Good creativity. The old uh, tides out there now as well, eh? Here, have you been up uh, Clydebank College way? Up at Keyside, have you ever seen how how they've tidied that up? See, that whole way through this is going to be, I reckon, from bowling here with the money they've invested the whole way, and then up there at Old, Co well, the the new thing that's going in at Old Copatrick, the what's it they call that? Aye, it's, it's a, but it's, it's like a park, it's nearly like a smoking in it. When did that? Well, they'll be saying when we get back, where have you been at? What have you been up to? We'll be saying we've been building fires. Well, we didn't need to build fires, they're ready made for us. Yep. Tell you what, you could sit there for a good couple of hours. Yeah. And I think that's what we'll do, we'll just camp here tonight. You get a pillow with you? No? Mm. I think he's going to tell me next. I've got a few ciders in your fridge. Cold ones. Oh my word, look at this cloud up here. Wait, you see this? Oh, look at this, mate. That's going to pump it down. Right behind that is just pure black. Right, so there we have the Erskine Bridge, built, uh, well, started constructing it in 1967, and it was opened in 1971. Was it the Queen that opened it? I think it was somebody from the royal family anyway. <laughs> it's a kind of juice? Oh, but it's a kind of rosy cider. Cider? Cider? You like this cider? I'm on the old Strongbow copy. That's out of Aldi Taurus. It's not a kicking the arse off the the flavours that's in that other one. Where'd you put your can? Is it in the bag? Stick it in my bag if need be. Stick it in the side there. Have you got a side bit? See, I mean, peoples. Why do you need to litter whenever you've got bags in pockets? Take it away. See that big seat there? We could plunk that on that and that would just be going right the way through to next Saturday night. Aye. 
It's actually no bad. You, see, you look at them guys there, they're obviously like travellers. They looked European anyway, they didn't have a local accent. And, uh, you know, there's no harm. They're stopped off, they had their wee bags. They've probably thought, right, well, we'll get a wee bite to eat and move on. Probably be away on down the lock direction from where they were going. And this place will be some difference whenever they get all that construction finished and it goes the whole way through into bowling over the old railway bridge. Oh, all the old seagulls up there giving it. Well, there we have it. Saturday night with the big G and the wee G in the place to be. Right in our wee bikes, magical mystery tour. We're out in the magical mystery tour. Where did we go tonight? Well, we went over to the place and we were geocaching. We were heading down steep roads. I reckon, yeah. see down that hill, we see the speed, because obviously I'm Strava tonight. Right. So when we get back and stop the Strava, I reckon I was doing 35 coming down that. Right. Because the other night, I was I was doing quicker than night coming down that, and I was... <laughs> so I'm doing 35 and he's skelping down behind me and his brakes went. No danger. I got a big boy coming there, he is. He's making a bit of noise. Come to get ye. We're up along the riverside. Riverside, mother. The French side? Here, you want the rest of that cider? Yeah? I sure did it earlier and bloody well ended up with Harper on the way back. Oh. I'm saying that, I took a Rennie earlier so I might be alright. What do we have up in the sky? Where is it? It's up there somewhere. Seen a lot of the VC plane last week when we were down at the lock. I'm getting midges. Do you get that? The midges coming through your helmet? Right, folks, thanks for tuning in. As always, we're uh, we're just randomly kicking about, taking uh, moments of our life, moments of my life, just doing stuff, and I'll always look back at them. See if anything never happens, me, G. Just remember, visit this channel, and the kids will always have a way of looking back and watching and listening to their old da. All right, until next time, catch ye. <laughs>